Hello folks, James Fox Trains there, welcome back to my way and today we're going to be looking at a Hornby Temu the locomotive. I hope you enjoy the video and let's get this review started now. So yeah, today guys, before I show you the locomotive, um, I'm going to just explain why I haven't didn't post the video on Wednesday and why I'm doing this uh, Tevu video so that the Hornby James and the about the Triumph 3Fs. At the minute I'm, I'm still looking at some like history and stuff between the Triumph Dealer 3F and James. That's the reason why I haven't done that video yet. But the, the main reason why I haven't been posting anything. And um, Tuesday, my mum was in a, in a car crash. She's okay, luckily, but she's suffering from like, whip, like whiplashes and you know stuff like that. And then obviously on Thursday, it was at my girlfriend's my grandma's funeral. So that's why you haven't been, well, I know it's only been like, what, a week since I posted out of the last video. But hopefully, I can get back on track to doing my videos now uh, because obviously you know it's not for me to die on everyone but uh, well, if, if anyone likes, wants to like, ask me all oh, your videos and stuff like that just feel free to say for instance if I am posted for like another two weeks or something you can you can ask me on Twitter or Facebook or my email so Anyway, let's get into the locomotive and um, what we're reviewing today. And what it is, is the Terrier. And I actually got this on my birthday money a couple of weeks ago. Um, and as you can see, I paid 80 quid for it. And I do actually really like the locomotive. And there's a brief history on the back, which I might actually just read out now, now to you, might as well. Uh, do, 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 do. In the eight, 1870s, London brought in a circus to wear away. Perfect. Oh. So it was built in December 1875, this tell you where. Um, it's 06, so as you know, I don't really know that much history about it, but I am actually after some of these ones. Uh, so, as you can see, it comes nice and packaged, and you can't really see that much either in there. Um, and as you can see, there's a version of what I went for at the end of the box. The code is R3528. That's the WC and PLR Terrier. Whatever that stands for. Right then, so as you can see, it comes in like some a protective case, which I love this if packaging. I wish most locomotives had it. But the first things we're going to look at is the instructions, guys. So as you can see, all six hours to tell you. And as you can see, it just shows you how to like remove the body, lubricate it and you know stuff like that. I mean I personally think this is one of the deal with the terriers. But I can't understand why it's in the Hobby Railways range. But I will be getting some one of the newest ones eventually. Um right guys so we've looked at the instructions so let's get this terrier out of there. really good for protecting my locomotive. <laughs> I mean it's like I told you a funny story the other, the other week guys. Um, I was putting some more shelves up uh, and as you can see as if they run out it wouldn't I can't feel quite the top of my head. As you can see the trains running in and out and you see my shelves being put up. Um, the other day, my shelf, one of them actually fell. M majority of my locomotives was actually on that shelf. Uh, I mean, very luckily, there's been no damage on this, so how it survived the fall 
as well. It's, I mean, I'll show you it for you guys. That's how far it was. So, I mean, the only ones what did actually like the body shots just came flying off, and that was with two diesel locomotives. Which um, I, I fixed up anyway because I have fixed up the class 33, I think, in the blue. But as you can see, here's the, here's the Terrier. And it is a really nice model as well. So, I mean, there's a ton of detail on this little guy. So, what we might do now is go down to the, well, go up to the detail. I don't know why I keep saying down. I think it's because I've said it for so many years. We're going to go up to the detail table now and we're going to see some of its details. Oh, yeah, that's it. See you in a bit, guys. Right then, guys. So, as you can see, it's up on the detail table now. I, I didn't get me that, that time. In fact, if I got a small ladder, I think, because it looks really dull in that bit. Yeah, as you can see, there. As you can see, it says the uh, light reading on the side, so it's WC and PR4. And as you can see, the, the uh, set lines are, are really nice, they're nice and secure in this model, but the plastic, unfortunately. So, um, I mean, there's tons of detail on the top, guys. Look at this. Look at all the detail that's at the top of it, including the whistle. You see, that's what scared me the most when the shelf actually fell, was the, the fact that I thought like a ton, ton of this detail would have actually fell off, but luckily it hasn't. So, so let's look at the other side. As you can see, it's just the same on the other side, but it's got the uh, pumping thing. But one thing uh, this Terry hasn't got, I think they've all got, if I'm not correct, please let me know down in the comments below, and that's spoon buffers. This one has not got spoon buffers. So I'm not really fussed about it because I have always been after a Terry. And as you can see, there's the back of the coal load. I don't think there's any cab detail, but we can have a look. In fact, no, there ain't, guys. I, thought, I always thought there were on this uh, Terry, but there ain't, so. Kind of glad that I don't like that because I've always wanted both of them in here. Um, but anyway, guys. Um, oh, yeah, then there's the funnel, which is really nicely moulded. And the same with the dome and all the plastic construction on top of it. <coughs> and as you can see, the cab goes all the way through. If I go like that one behind, you can see it all the way through, which is a really nice feature. I mean, the thing what catch my eye with this the most was the lining and the colour. Because the liner looks beautiful in this locomotive. But I'm going to take you down to that up on the layout. I forgot to say it. And we're going to test it slow speed. Alright then, I'll talk to you in a bit, guys. Right then, guys. So as you can see now, you're, you're on the layout. Well, not on the layout, but the locomotive's down on the layout. And I'm just going to use the slow speed to see how its slow speeds are. Right. And as you can see, they're not that bad. I mean, that's only what? 25%. Let's see if we can go any slower. The answer to that is if it can. Just turn it down to 20%, it's going like that. It is moving. You guys probably can't pick that up, but it is actually moving there. Yeah, it is moving. And that's the tread backwards. Yep, still good, slow money. But anyway, uh, we're good. The slow speeds is a pass, I think. Um, right then, so let me just turn it around to show you what it's coupling up to. It's going to be coupling up to three coaches. I think the seven coaches, I'm not quite sure. So, that, I thought that's the only colour what would actually match up with the locomotive, if you know what I mean. It does actually. So, we're going to get the um, Terrier, and it is a Pioneer Town then, because the Pioneer Town is like right next to it, so let's set the Pioneer uh, Terrier off. Next one is the Pioneer Tank, when it wants to work off. Oh, one control, that's why. Alright, it does want to work this time. And we're going to turn it around. If, it, if she runs, which I hope she does, Terrier's just going to fall that. There we go. 
And the last one is that over green um, tender locomotive what I've got. It is only for one clock because we one mess the back minute. And I hope you enjoy the winning session guys. Oh Penny Sent stopped again. Oh well. What does that be two running today then? Yeah, I'll have to get a like a look good look at that playing tank to see why it keeps going like it does. I mean so it's doing around beautifully. So the um I can't think what it's kind of locomotive guys, if you guys know I don't know. I just saw it and I thought I just like the look of it. I'll have to make it again. As I say, I'm gonna wait until this one goes past. Right, that's it. We'll stop the stop that one. Or we'll do scores with the tell you. Right then, so detail, um, for what it is, detail is really brilliant, so I'll give that a 5 out of 5. Um, performance, um, I will definitely give that a 5 out of 5. So slow speeds, 5 out of 5, because there was no problem with slow speeds. Quality, definitely 5 out of 5, because it's a brilliant quality model. And I mean, I don't know what's under the model without taking it apart, but I'm not going to do that for obvious reasons. Um, value for money. I would definitely give that a five out of five because eighty quid for this little guy is not one bad, you know what I mean? And he hasn't like you know let me down since even like when he fell off that. That's how high it was, near enough, and it fell from that height. So it's incredible to say that the quality on this is quite good. So we're gonna have a bit more running session with with it now with him. And I hope you enjoy it. But yeah, guys, if you want to home, if you want to get a Terrier, get the Hornby one. Whether it's the old mechanism or the new mechanism, get just get one. Because a really, I mean, look at this guy. He's got a good shot. I'm trying to like keep the Terrier next to the. Um, the tender locomotive, if you know what I mean, guys. Oh, what is he? What is he? What is he gone? Oh well. We'll just give the uh, Terry a of on then. <laughs> I was hoping that the Terry going on. We can't go for that. I hope you you're like ready for Christmas. If you want to talk, tell me what you want, you're hoping for Christmas. Let me know down, down in the comments below. The two things I'm hoping for for Christmas is the Batman Duck and the Batman Netflix station. So yeah, I think it, after it's come back round, it's the perfect time to end the video, and then I'll flip the camera back on because I've got something to show you. No, I'm not sure, you, but. I don't want really to give any spoilers away. Right then, so I'm gonna flip the camera back around and I'll talk to you a bit, guys. Well then, guys, um, all I've got to say is thank you for watching this video today. I'm, I am hoping now that, that stuff has calmed down with my mum and that lot. I can post videos more um, recently again because I know it's not really fair to you or that. You know, you wait your life a week or two to see a video from me, and I do apologise for that. But yeah, this this little terrier. I can highly recommend getting yourself one, even if it's not this one, but any of the Hornby Terriers. I don't know whether to try the dapper ones and see if some of them was just like a bad example. Um, because I've considered getting them because I like the, the flick and glow in the in the um, in the smoke box in the cab firebox, sorry. Um, but yeah. 
I am after some of these guys, and to say that the the Hornby ones are brilliant, um, is just incredible. Right then, guys. So I'm not going to show you it straight away, but Friday I was busy, um, and I was doing another custom, and this is all you're getting <laughs> until the actual reveal. So I made it by using a dapple pug. There's, that, that's all you're getting. And I, and I have a feeling a lot of people are going to say person, RWS person, because people did on my last one, which I won't get into that until the review of this on Wednesday. Um, but I'm, that's all I'm going to give you guys at the minute is just a brief of the box and what locomotive I use for it. I'm not going to be giving anything else away until Wednesday. So... Again, if anyone guesses it right, I'll be surprised, to be honest with you, because... Um, but anyway, guys, um, I will be posting next Wednesday, um, because, obviously, I've got, like I just said, I've got that custom review to show you. Um, what else I've got after that? I don't think I'll be recording next Sunday, though, because obviously we've been Christmas on the Saturday. I don't... I put, if I, can, if I can, I will do, but I don't think I will be doing because I actually want to spend a lot of time with my mum at the minute because of what I told you about her being, being in a character on Tuesday. I want to spend a lot of time with her this, these past couple of days. I mean, I should be doing this resting at home and yeah. But hopefully we'll have a better 2022 because I'm hoping in 2022 that I can reach 300 subs. I know it's a lot to ask for, but if... In fact, here's a question to you lot. When I reach 300 subscribers, and I know that I ask this all the time and I never get any feedback from it. Um, if I reach 300 subscribers, next year would you want to see a custom review like i was gonna i was gonna say this one was for doing for getting 240 subscribers but obviously then it looks last night it's 239 so i mean i suppose i could do it for 235 or something like that but um but yeah if you want me to do something like that like every time i i reach like a certain point of subscribers and then i do like Either a giveaway, even if it's a small giveaway, I'll give do a giveaway, a customer review, a request, um, a live. I mean, I consider doing a live stream when I if, if I if did hit, hit three hundred subscribers, guys. Uh, a Q and A, which I have tried asking time and time again to get to people, but nobody seems to be getting back to me about that. Um. So guys, like I've just said, comment down below what you want to see when I do reach 300 subscribers because I want to do something special for y'all lot. That's what I'm saying. And, you know, every time I ask people, they're like, oh, well, blah, 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 why are you doing that? Why are you doing this? And I'm like, because it's my choice. You know what I mean? Not people who subscribe to my channel, but people outside the Thomas fandom again. So it's like this one. I, d I didn't think of this until now, but this one could possibly be for either two f 35 subscribers or two 40 subscribers, if you know what I'm saying. Depends how many subscribers I've got by Wednesday. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video today. I actually enjoy enjoyed it, other than, you know, all the trains random and stopping in areas, which I can't get my head around why they're doing that, because my layout is more stable to do uh whatever i mean i know i know that there's problems with my paddy tank and i'm i am going to look into that if not i'll just get a brand new one um and as for this one uh this one dropped off um the other day that on the shelf and the tender wheel one of them is actually loose so also i'm gonna have to repair that at some point i'll just get a brand new wheel um what else have I got? What else have I got to say? 
Right then, uh, I'm just going to end the video here because I'm going to keep, keep rambling on. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Um, please comment down below what you thought of this little terrier. And comment down below what you think this is. And I'm going to say this now. No, it's not RWS Percy. So, people who comment that, no. Um, obviously, for some people, I've already seen it on like my Facebook and Twitter and stuff. So, um, you know. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video today. Please, please subscribe to my channel and have a have a lovely day. Stay safe out there. And if I don't see you on next Sunday, have a lovely Christmas. I'll probably say that on Wednesday's video as well. Have a lovely Christmas, and I hope you get everything you want. Um, and hope you just spend time with your family as well, because obviously you know. And I guess I'll see you next time with that review of the custom locomotive. Alright then, I'll see you later, everyone. Bye.